Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at y'all live at 2.32 a.m. And I'm gonna be solving Elite Code number 138 today, copy list with a random pointer. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. A linked list of length, I feel like this one is so much words that it like low-key trips you out, but it's very simple. The, the, <laughs> the solution is not that simple, but the idea is. So a linked list of length n is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer, which could point to any node in the list or null. Construct a deep copy of the list. The deep copy should consist exactly n brand new nodes, where each new node has its value set to the value of its corresponding original node. Both the next and random pointers of the new nodes should point to the new should point to new nodes in the copied list, such that the pointers in the original list and copied list represent the same list state. However, none of the pointers in the new list should point to any nodes in our original list. For example, if there are two nodes x and y in the original list, where x dot random points to y, that more well, capital x dot random points to y, then for the corresponding two nodes x and y in our deep cloned copied list, um, x dot random should also point to y. Return the head of the copied linked list, and then the linked list is represented in the input slash output as a list of n nodes. Each node is represented as a pair of value and random index, where val is an integer representing node.val. Random index represents the index of the node that the random pointer points to, or null if it does not point to any node. Your code only will only be given the head of the original linked list. Okay, great. So here's an example here. So we have these values 7, 13, 11, 10, 1. And we want to create an exact deep clone of this list that uh, basically has the same state but references its own nodes. It doesn't rep reference any nodes in the original list here. So if you can see here the 7, its next pointer points to 13 and its random pointer points all the way to null. For 13, its next pointer points to 11 and its random pointer points to 7 here to 0, There's the 0th index. And then 11 next points to 10, its random pointer points to the fourth node, and so on and so forth. So, and then if we have an empty, if we're given a linked list is empty, a null pointer, we just return null. And cool. So, I guess I'll just illustrate this in my whiteboard. So, ow. Okay. So, oops, I don't know. Okay, let me do this. So the idea is we have our original linked list here. Original. And I'll just say this is null. Say A, B, C. Okay, so this is our original list, remember that. So A's next points to B and A's random pointer points to null. B's next uh, points to C, and B's random pointer points to C. And then uh, C's random pointer points to A. Okay, so everything looks good. So we just have to create an exact clone of this list with our own new node. So we need to create new memory. Um, uh, we need to introduce some new, we're allocating new memory to create our own new nodes that will clone this list and have the same exact number of nodes and point to the same exact things that the nodes in this list points to. So basically we want to create our own clone that does the same exact functionality but with its own nodes. So we're allocating new memory for those nodes. So it seems simple, right? Traverse through this list, copy, you know, copy the nodes to our new list, or copy new nodes with the same values to our new list, and you know, connect their same pointers that they're connected to. But I guess the only problem is our random point with our random a random pointer so if we were to create a new list like this so let's say it's uh, ABC so let's say it's capital A this is our clone capital A it needs to point to to B right capital B so if we're traversing this list and we come upon A and we're like okay cool let's create a new node that's a clone of A which is this node and uh, well, in this case, actually, I was going to say the random pointer. 
Okay, I'll just keep going, I guess. It's random pointer points to null, so I guess that's no issue, right? That's null. This isn't representing null. But then we go to B, and... Did I even make a random pointer for B? I don't think I did. Okay, oh yeah, no. <laughs> I made the random and next pointer the same thing. Okay, let's say we have a node D, and D's random, B's random pointer points to D. So once we get to B here, we clone B, we clone its dot next, but when we, when we want to clone, clone the random pointer D, we have to ask ourselves, you know, how can we uh, deep copy the node? You know, how can we point its random pointer to another node? Meaning, how can how can we make a clone of B and point our B, our new clone's random pointer to another node, a, a, the deep clone, but that deep clone has not even been created yet. There's no D clone created yet. So if there's not a deep clone of that node created yet, how can we assign some random pointer to something that we haven't created? So that's where we have to think about how can we get around that. So there, there's, at least from my knowledge right now, I don't see a way of being able to traverse this, li this uh, linked list once and copy the nodes as well as the pointers at the same time. So how can we fix this solution here? So what we need to introduce duplicate what we need to introduce is we need to do two traversals so our first traversal so let's say let me do my list again here um, I'll say a B C D and then we have no all right so No. Okay, so these are the random pointers, and I don't know what D will point to. Maybe no. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Well, I'll just point it to no. So the idea is we need to do two separate passes. So the first pass that we do, we're not going to worry about our links and our random pointers because if we do that, like we said, we risk the potential of assigning a pointer to something to a deep cloned node that has not even been created yet. It, we haven't even allocated new memory for that long. So what is our pointer going to point to? You know, it's going to be so confused. So I guess our first pass, we're going to have to create the clones of the nodes, create the deep clones. That's the idea. Create the deep clones. So we're not going to worry about linking anything. We're just going to worry about having our actual deep cloned nodes. So I'll say we'll have deep clone and let the capital letter represent the new clone of the lowercase version. So let this capital A represent the deep clone of this lowercase a node. So we'll create that, create node B, create node C, node D, and yeah, and then we'll have null here because things might be null, might be pointing to null. So now that we've we've done our first path, we've traversed through our linked list, um, and now we, we've created our clone, so that's the first step. Um, two. Now what we'll, now what we will do in the next pass is actually link these clones together. Link link clones together. Um, so that so that they match the state of how the original original list was linked together. Okay. So you have to think about now. Um, how are we going to kind of know? Like, so this is the old copy. This is going to be the new copy of our node. But we need a way to know what the old copy was pointing to. So, okay, no, no, no. We need a way to basically... Excuse me one second. Uh, okay, excuse me. So, um, how can I explain this? <laughs> so, basically, when we do our first, first uh, hash map here... We can't just create random nodes. We're going to lose track of them. We're not even going to know where they are. We need a way to link the, our new deep clone nodes to the old clone nodes. So we're going to need some sort of hash map that uh, maps our old nodes, so old old nodes, to the clones. Okay? So the way that will work is, like I said, let lowercase a, rep, uh, let uppercase a here represent the clone for lowercase a. So we'll have something like this. 
lowercase a's value will be the deep clone of um, a here. Okay. So we'll map every old node to its to its new deep deep clone deep cloned node. So basically, the original input node, we're mapping it to its new node. So yeah. Now what we can do is say um, the second pass we will do all the pointer stuff and you know we'll use our hash map uh, that we created to basically you know point the nodes to the copies of other nodes based on their random pointers and their next pointers. Okay, so I'm just gonna code it out. It will make more sense once we uh, start coding. So hopefully you will kind of get the concept. All right. So here I will say if um, let's see if the head equals equals null then we'll just return null or some empty list or something but I'll return null here all right so now um, let's just create the clones so well so we're gonna need a current and we're going to have to traverse through our linked list to get the clones so I'll say node current equals head and we'll say while well, current does not equal no then oh sorry I didn't even create the hash map so we'll say map and it's gonna be have a key of node value of node because remember we're mapping our old nodes to their new clones so we'll say node map equals new hash map all right so I'll say while well, current does not equal no go ahead and add just um, create the deep clones of these nodes so I'll say node map node map dot put the current sorry we need to create a new node first so here in the constructor we see that we can create a new node and just pass in a value and that will do its thing so I'm gonna say node our copy equals new node and I'll pass in the same value as our current node because we want to keep the same state so I'll say current dot val okay and now I'm gonna say node map dot put the current node which is gonna be the old copy and the new node which is going to represent the deep cloned copy so copy okay so that puts that in the node map all right, so this will, and then we have, we can't forget to update current, or we'll get stuck in an infinite loop. So current equals current dot next, and then now we can do our second traversal, in which we in which we will link the clones together, and link their random pointers and their next pointers. So we will say, well, okay. So I'm gonna say we're gonna reset uh, current to head, and I'm gonna say. We're gonna traverse our um, our list again. So while current does not equal no, and this is when we this is when we begin to create our our new copy and link things together. So while current does not equal no, we'll say node copy equals current. Mm, hold up. Oh, no, no, no. Node copy will equal our hash map dot get the value here, the value at current. That will return to us the deep clone that we'll be working with. I sound like, I sound so evil when I say deep clone. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's too late. That's why I'm like kind of out of it. Node copy equals node map dot get. Node map dot get, um, let's see here. Our current, yeah, node map dot get current, okay? And now we're gonna what we're going to do is okay how can I explain this so we'll get the we'll get the the current value from our our map right and then through through the current we'll be able to set the copy dot next and copy dot dot random so what we want to do now we need to set the new pointers we need to set our random pointers and we need to set our next pointer for our deep cloned node. Why is it saying that? So basically, um, 
how how would we do this? So we know that our hash map it maps our original nodes to their copies, right? So if if our old node is current in our hash map, right? Our old node is current. We know that um, if we get current dot next from our hash map, that will give us the next uh, current dot next from our hash map. So if we say node dot get current dot next, like if we want to, just for an example here, that will give us the key current dot next, which is going to reference another node in our hash map. Okay, another new node, and then from there we can we can work with that. So. It's gonna give us. It's gonna map us to the copy of current.next that we created. Okay, so then we can proceed to link that new copy to our current.next. Okay, and then we know for sure that the current.next will be in our map because we already know that we we cloned all every single node earlier. Okay, and then if it's null, it will just give us null back. So node node copy equals node map dot get current, and then now I'll, uh, set the links of next and random so I'll say copy <clears throat> this this node that this node copy I just created copy dot next well not really just created this references the the new clone from when you get this value from the hash map so copy dot next equals what do we want it to equal so we say node map dot get so this current node, like let's say right here, this current node is this original current node. So if we say node map dot get current dot next, this says okay, what is current right now? Current right now is seven, okay. So in our hash map, we have something that looks like. Where can I write this? Okay, in our hash map, I'll write it here. In our hash map right now, we have something like a structure that looks like this, okay. Let this box, let these brackets represent a node, an individual node. So we have node 7, and it maps to its clone. So how can I represent a clone? Let clone be represented by parentheses. 7. That's that's 7 node, okay? Uh, we have mm, node, what is it called? 13, okay? Points to its own copy. It's, a, it's deep clone copy, 13. Node... 11 points to its deep clone copy, 11. Node 10, I'm not going to write all that, I'm tired. So, you, you get what I'm trying to say? Well, you don't get it yet because I didn't explain it yet. Or you might get it. <laughs> but basically, so we, when we say node map dot get cur, okay? Wait, let me write that here. So, cur and clone. So when you say node map dot get cur, that takes you to your actual original copy, okay? Not your copy, your actual original node. So this actual seven is this. So when we say node map dot get cur, it gets the, the the corresponding value to this key, which is the clone, okay? So pay attention. So now this copy is referencing our clone. So any changes we do to copy will actually link to our cloned node, okay? And our clone node is not really connected to our our old node. So if we say here, okay, copy.next equals node map dot get cur dot next, okay? What is current dot next? Current dot next is 13, okay? So if you say node map dot get, if you say go to my hash map and get get the value 13, you'll go here and you'll get the actual node of 13 from your original list, but you'll get the value that corresponds to it, which is the cloned node. So you're saying copy.next, our cloned copy.next equals our clone nodes.next, okay? So, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. We're saying that our copy.next, so our clone nodes.next, will equal to the corresponding value to the next node of our original list. So hopefully that makes sense. That's the best I can do. I can't, I don't know how to explain this better. But hopefully that's making a little more sense. So copy.next equals don't map that get cur. Copy.random equals node map dot get cur dot random. Okay. Dot random will be pointing to null and that will give us null. After this ends, we just want to return. What are you returning again? Um return the head of the copy link list. So how how can we find the head of the copy link list? So if the 
the head here was seven in the in the original list, and we made a deep clone of seven, then we know our head of our clone list will be. Let me take this back. Our head of our clone list will be the corresponding clone to our head from our original list. So if our head in the original list was seven, the head from our clone list will be the cloned seven. So all you have to do is return return your node map dot get your what is it your head okay that will correspond to the cloned head so here let me write this back again copy dot random equals node map dot get random okay and yeah we can't forget to increment current or we're gonna get stuck in an infinite loop current equals current dot next and that should be all. So I'm going to run this. Cannot find symbol. Copy dot random equals node map dot get. Oh, so I was supposed to say current dot random. Okay, let us see. And we're gonna submit. And that worked here. So hopefully that made sense. I hope this was understandable. I know my explanation wasn't too good for this problem. But yeah, hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully this code helps. Alright, thanks for watching.